Hello, back again. Um, this second clip uh, in between Christmas and New Year isn't going to be as long as the first one, um, which I've done today, for one reason and one reason only. I'm quite cold. It's cold in this bait shed. Um, in the summertime, I have a, a nice air conditioning system in here so that I keep my flavours and ingredients at, a, at the right temperature. Um, but in the winter, it doesn't matter if it's a bit cool. I mean, you can see how chilly it is in here. But if we put the fan heater on, it's a bit noisy. So um, what I'm going to talk about now, and I just thought, well, let's do something quick, but something really important. And that's the subject of high attract hook baits. I did touch on this in the video that's just gone, but high attract hook baits, um, in my opinion, when used in conjunction with a hair rig, tend to catch fish on ejection, so as they eject the bait, as opposed to because they want to eat it. And the reason I say that is because I believe that these overflavoured baits, whilst they might attract the fish initially into the area, particularly when they're used as singles on the chuck, whatever it is you're doing, um, the fish come in and they think, well, I want it, I'm hungry, I've got curiosity, let's test it. They suck it in, the extra taste buds in the roof of their mouth, boom, overload, they blow it out. They don't want to eat it for two reasons. One, it's got too much flavour in it. Two, if it's a, a, a basic pop-up mix or something like that with no nutritional value, it's not telling them that they want to eat it because of the nutritional signal from the base mix. So they blow it out and the sharp hook and the clever rig catches them on ejection. So I'm going to take you back about 40 years now, 35 years, and you think, oh, what's the relevance of that? Okay, so I knew the guy who invented the hair rig. And most of the people watching this video will not have caught fish on a rig that doesn't involve a hair rig. In other words, a bait that's off the hook, tied to the hook. And before the hair rig was invented, you had to use really good bait so that the fish took the hook right inside their mouth because the hook was buried in the bait. And this is particularly significant. So what does this lead to? Why am I telling you this? Okay, so Lenny Middleton invented the hair rig. God rest his soul, he's a lovely guy, very clever. And he worked out that the pharyngeal teeth, the throat teeth of a carp, were about two and three quarter inches for a 25 pound carp, so that was the target fish then in the late 70s, early 80s, a 20, everyone wanted a 20. And he measured, he found a dead carp, and he measured the distance from the lips to the throat teeth, and it was about two and a half to two and three quarter inches. So in the early days, when we first used the hair rig, we used a hair that was about this far, about two and a half to two and three quarter inches from the hook. That's amazing. Do you know many people that use hair rigs this long? So the fish took the bait in. We'd previously been using a bait on the hook. They didn't think it was attached to a line and you got what was called a confident bite. So they took the bait right inside, they were already chewing it on their throat teeth, the hook hooked them inside the mouth, and you got a very slow bite. Some of the bites were just this sort of, if, that, if this is your indicator, this, the bobbin went up that slow. You just walked your rods, clicked the bait on the street, Hi oh guys, back again. I think we ran out of a bit of uh, battery power or storage space on the, uh, on the phones we were using to do this clip, so excuse that. I think I reached the point where I said, you know, you just walk to your rods and pick it up, and it's a bit different to that now, when nearly every bite's a screaming take, because the fish have hooked themselves. Um, anyway, that's a bit of a diversion. I'll go back to where I started off a few minutes ago, which was about overflavoured hook baits. So, just to... To, to reiterate the point I'm making is that I think with the hair rig properly set up, um, obviously not with a massive great long hair, but your, your normal rig, whatever you use, 
um, you can probably get a better hook hold if you do two things. Number one, use a good quality bait. Don't put too much flavour in it. Perhaps use a slightly longer hair, which gives them a little bit more freedom to take the bait further and deeper into their mouth so they can taste and evaluate it. And also, I would suggest that instead of using these very short rigs, which are fashionable, and I must say fashion is dictating an awful lot of carp fishing now, but I think we have to think about the way big fish feed. So I would say slightly longer hair, correctly balanced bait in harmony with the base mix, and importantly, a slightly longer hook link. So instead of using a five or six or seven inch hook link, I would favour, particularly when targeting very big fish, a longer hook link of nine or 10 inches because they've got such powerful suction, they need that play in the hook link and the play in the length of the hair to suck that bait up into its mouth and taste it. There's an awful lot of information in what I've just said in these last few minutes and a lot to take in. But if you think about the original invention of the hair rig, how bait has developed since that time, what we need to do is make sure that we think about how we get the best out of everything that's available on the internet, everything that's available from all the wonderful bait companies that are out there, and how we then use that to our best advantage when we go fishing. So I think a little bit more thought and care about how fish feed, how we make our bait, is it fresh, is it consistent, all those things that will crop up I will keep covering in future clips and we'll go into more and more detail. Uh, now there's one last thing that I've got to say uh, and apparently it's the, it's the thing that everyone says on these clips. Um, if you would like to, um, I've written it down actually, <laughs> so if you'd like to comment and subscribe to these clips, that's Instagram and YouTube, it will help other people find this video. Um, Hopefully they'll find it helpful too. And I'm gonna go and warm up and have a hot cup of coffee. So I'll see you later. Happy New Year. Thanks for your support. Cheers guys.